Hey everybody, it's Kika, your lifestyle blogger, and welcome to my channel. So I want to talk today about vision boards. So this is just a vision board talk. And we're going to talk about, we're going to do a little something different. We're going to do a little twist on this. And this is going to be about manifesting the blessings that you already have. So, or blessings that you already received. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because I think a lot of times we can get a little complacent about the things that we have already been blessed with and we really need to um, magnify on that and really take it to the next level. So that's what this talk is going to be about. So keep watching for more video footage coming up. channel and today we're going to do a little bit of a different twist on things and what we're going to talk about this is actually going to be a vision board talk so we're going to talk about manifesting the blessings that you already received now I wanted to do a little bit of a different take on that because sometimes we do get blessings and we do not magnify on those blessings you know we'll get them we pray about them we finally receive them and then what do we do we just kind of let things fall by the wayside. And that's with anything. It could be a business. It could be that new car that you wanted. It could be that new house that you wanted. We need to take ourselves back to where we were when we first wanted those blessings and needed those blessings in our lives. And then we need to look at where we are today and how are we actually magnifying those blessings and thanking God for those blessings that he already gave us. So that's what I want to talk to you about today in this video segment so keep watching more video footage coming up let's talk so this year it weighed real heavy on my heart to try to really change my life in big ways and one of the things i did with this new company that i'm working for i actually work in the in my regular life I should say, my home life, I work as a sales manager. So I manage a team of salespeople. And so I kind of got away a lot from when I used to actually be a salesperson. When I was a salesperson, I was a whole different me. I mean, I would make sure the hair, the nails, the shoes, the outfits was just perfect. But then COVID happened and it shifted everything for me and I'm sure for you too and then here we go with the working at home and so I really got away from a lot of that stuff and so this past year with the company that I work for we they entered me into this thing called leadership academy so it's a whole year of working with a group of people professionals psychologists kind of everybody and really digging into the root of where you are and getting you back on track to where you need to be because there may be some things that might be off or maybe things that you want to improve in your professional life and your career life and so that is what leadership academy is all about and so 
I joined Leadership Academy and it was mind blowing. Be the difference in the things that started to unfold and happen. First of all, when you go through the different psychological testing and you learn a little bit more about yourself and your personality and how you are using those things and bringing them to the workplace, it's an aha moment and a big eye opener. So I wanted to change a few things about myself and as the months are going on, I am open to do that and I have been doing that. And what I've been seeing around me is relationships have been improving and getting a lot better. So another thing that I'm working on improving is my professionalism. So I'm working on that as well. So now I'm talking about blessings that God has already given us. So believe me, I'm still on that topic. But what I'm saying is these blessings and the way I was was long before where I am right now. And somewhere down the line, something happened and I lost who I was. So I have to bring that back. And so there's just little things you have to always think about as you are going through life, you got to think about yourself first. And so that's why I'm starting with myself, because you really have to think about yourself and where you want to be in life. Because if you don't take care of you, you can't take care of anything else properly. And so that is what Leadership Academy was all about. And that is what Leadership Academy taught me. I'm going to take my glasses off because I think they're glaring in this camera that I have here. So one of the things that I started to do is I made a few purchases. I really wanted to get my skin together. When I was in high school, I had really, really bad acne. And I really wanted to really perfect and get my skin together. And then as I aged, I started seeing the dark spots under my eyes and just different things like that. And so I started buying some creams. This is like my numeric under eye cream. And that was good. It helps you like lighten up under your eyes a little bit. And then I bought this. This is like a skin tightening cream. This is so cool. So this is what it looks like. And so you just put that on your face and neck. And it helps with that. You know, I'm a little chubby, so. But it was really nice. Um, so we had that. I'm using that. So I use both of those. And then this is my all-time favorite thing. You talk about the eyes. I have to take care of my eyes. I'm telling you. So that it comes. First of all, I was so excited. I just opened up the package. But it comes in this. Okay. You can get that from Amazon. And I don't have my glasses on. So I can't even read it. But it's cold. Oh God. Hold on you guys. It's terrible. I'm just being myself here. It's called Mizon. M-I-Z-O-N. It's a Snail Repair Intensive Gold Eye Gel Patch. And so anyway, they give you this little tool. You open it up. And then it has this other protective layer that you open. Let me just show you this. Awesome. I love this stuff. It's kind of slimy. Like a gel slimy, but look. And so with this, you go in and you pick your pieces and then it's shaped for under your eye. So what you do is you line it up perfectly and you just put it under your eye. And I usually leave it on, I try to leave it on for about an hour. You can leave it on more than that. Um, I always do it at weird times. So I need to start doing this and leave it on for more than an hour. But then when you take it off, it's amazing what it does. Do you remember those um, different creams or like tucks or stuff like that? When you put it on like a hemorrhoid and then the hemorrhoid kind of goes down like it's inflated. But then you put the tux pads on and then the hemorrhoid goes down. Whatever's in that tux pad made the hemorrhoid go down. Well, that's what these are to me. And you don't feel anything, but you put it on your eye, and then when you take them off, it's it's amazing. So I think I have some pictures I will show you really quick, and then you can see what that looks like. Take a look up in the mirror. You gotta see a little clearer. Who's that woman looking right back? When she's a beauty queen, but about yourself 
you got to fix those in order to be refreshed and ready to move forward to be able to be a blessing in someone else's life. You got to take your blessing that you received, make it beautiful and see the good in it. And then you take that and you can be a blessing to someone else. So now we'll move on to the next part. Keep watching. <music> blessings and things that, that happens in people's lives that are blessings and how we can magnify on that so let's go back and talk about that a little bit more and so what I want to say is there was a period in my life where I'm a person that th believes that certain things happen for a reason and it's not coincidences that's God so anyway um there was a man that I met when I was working at one of the senior living communities that I worked at and as a sales director and he kept coming into my office he didn't walk with a walker he didn't wear any glasses nothing like that just a tall guy who would just walk by my office say hi all the time and wanted to talk to me you could tell but didn't know when the right time was to approach me and then one day he did and this man we would race each other to the elevator do all that Finally, he came to my office. I told him to come on in and just sit down for a little bit because every time he passed by, I was super busy, but finally I wasn't and I was able to talk to him. And I figured out he was 90, I want to say 96 or 98 years old. And he liked to knit hats. And I thought that was really intriguing. He loved to do that. He'd sit in the lobby and knit hats. And it, I mean, he would have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hats that he would donate to the Salvation Army. And I just thought it was so cool and beautiful. And he kept saying to me, I want to teach you how to knit hats. I want to teach you how to knit hats. Started digging in and learning a little bit more about him and found out he was a millionaire. His son was in his 70s. And he would come and get him every month to see dad and drive him way across town just to get $20 out of the bank so he could buy more yarn to knit. And then the Salvation Army would come and he would give them these boxes of hats that he knitted. And um, one day he was on in the news. You can look look him up online, Tom, and then Champlin Shores, um, knitting hats, and you'll find find his story. And so they would come and get the hats and take pictures. And every year he would do this. I don't know if he's passed away now because I don't work there anymore. When COVID happened, I left that organization, and that was about four years ago. Um, however, he's such a great man, a Christian man, and so always i mean if he couldn't go to church he is watching it online so very dedicated and he outlived like three of his wives so i wouldn't imagine i mean if he's still alive he probably is because he was doing some really good deeds for people and these hats was his purpose and was a blessing one day we sat down in my office and he taught me how to knit hats so this is tom's story and the picture of us knitting hats in his office anyway so this is his story and that's him and i in all three pictures and then these are the hats that he knitted for me he gave me two so i got this one and this one And so Tom inspired me and I started knitting hats. And so as I'm talking to you here, I'm going to be rolling in another picture here, hats that I have knitted because of Tom's teaching and lessons. But it was more than just knitting the hats that he taught me. He taught me patience because in my life, I always wanted to rush to the next thing, rush to the next thing. And as you guys know, when you've seen in my videos, I have multiple things going on. That's just my personality and what I had to do. But it was way out of control when I wasn't knowing how to slow down. And so the hat knitting taught me how to slow down, take a breath, listen, any frustrations that I'm having or whatever. This is such a wonderful outlet for me to not have that outburst and be angry because I had that in me. And so the hat helped that part of me. And I thank Tom for that. And if he's not alive, this is a gift that he truly gave me. 
And so, like I said, amplify, magnify on your blessings because I think God sent him, that angel, to teach me that valuable life lesson. And in turn, I'm making beautiful hats. I love it. And so I just opened up my Etsy shop. And so if you guys are interested in getting a custom made hat from moi, go to my Etsy shop. I'll put the link right here below and um, take a look around and see what I have. I can custom make whatever you'd like, what colors, we'll have that conversation. I love making hats with the pom-poms. I made one for my um, boyfriend's boss and I did one side red of the pom-pom and one side white. It was really cute and then it was a white hat. So I'm gonna make it for another one of his coworkers who, and it's very special, I wanna say, because these coworkers that we picked out are going through some life difficulties so this is just something that i'm giving as a blessing because i'm taking my time and i'm making the hat and i'm spending about one to two hours making this hat but spiritually i'm gonna pray over that hat every hat i make and i'm sending that on out so you get a two-in-one when you get a hat from me and of course my logo and everything is on it too so i have sorry about that my whole little set so this is what i use i sit in front of my tv and at the end of the night i might have me a glass of red wine i pick up some yarn or i decide out of here what i'm going to use some of these are just scraps this is what i do my pom-poms with these are the different size looms i use to knit hats because i do baby hats as well and then i'm going to get into now some scarves that i knit and headbands and kind of all that stuff too i'm doing so near and dear people that I give hats to when I give you a hat it's truly coming from a heart so if you got a hat from me know that that hat came from my heart all right a little commercial but anyway on to the next part keep watching <laughs> stuff that I had in the beginning I still have it okay but it's just been sitting and I haven't really done much to it because this last year I had vowed to work on my house where I live in and I redid everything you guys seen videos of that me redoing all the bedrooms and everything I still have some things to finish on that I kind of slowed down a little bit because I started making hats but I still have to stain the floor so that's coming there's going to be some good videos on floor staining because all of my stuff has a purpose in the meeting so you're going to have a good video on that but that's coming next and then what I'm going to do is it's going to be kind of simultaneous this year because I'm going to work on all of it. And so for the house and the cabins, first of all, in the spring, I'm going to go up to the cabins and just freshen up the paint that needs to be done all the time. Same color paint, just freshen it up a little bit. I might change the trim on the first cabin because it's orange. And I didn't realize when orange sits in the weather for so long, it doesn't really look right but it might look okay i mean it is a cabin so i could just leave it but we'll see so i am going to freshen up paint so that's the first thing to the cabins in the spring um right now in the winter though at my house i'm going to stay in the floors and then when spring comes i'm going to put add doors to the cabin so the black cabin needs a new front door the black cabin I want to separate the kitchen area from the living room area. So I'm gonna put French doors on both sides at the black cabin. This is gonna be a big undertaking. I don't know yet how I'm gonna do it. If I'm gonna do the sliding doors, if I'm gonna do the kind of the open up, I don't know, but I know the doors, what I want them to be is black with the French grids on the doors. And I think that's gonna add a really nice touch to the cabin. So I do want to add that, but I definitely want to change the doors and make sure the locks are good. Every time I go up there, it's great. I did just go up there and everything looked wonderful, but I do want to make sure that uh, everything is nice and secure and that it looks nice. Um, and I'm going to do that to the first cabin. There's no doors that need to be changed on there. I just need to freshen up the paint there and then kind of clean up the yard a little bit which brings me to my rvs i do eventually want to paint my rv but i don't have time to do that now but i do want to take some time to get new batteries for her and then wash her down really really good the paint actually looks good she's just looking dusty and terrible because she's been sitting 
and sitting and eventually she's going to need new tires and everything but i want to start using my rv and i want to go to short trips like to wisconsin dales because that's close to minnesota and do like a wine tour and kind of all of that so i'm going to attempt to do that this coming summer and bring you some really good video footage so hopefully everything goes well with the rv i think she needs a new refrigerator i just got to get in there and 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 see what's needed um, my son and I, the last time I seen the RV, we I seen her actually when I went up there last week, but the last time I seen the inside of the RV is when my son and I went up there and we cleaned the whole inside. So it is at least clean, but I want to take it up another notch and make sure everything is workable inside the RV before we take it on a trip. So me and my guy and my sister and her husband are going to plan a wine country trip to Wisconsin Dells this summer using the RV so we'll bring you that video footage so there's a lot of things I want to do not a lot of time because you only get so much time to be able to be outside and do these different things um, before the bugs come that's a whole other story but those are the things that I am planning on tackling because those are blessings that I had and I just let them just kind of sit and I didn't do anything with them for a long time and so I appreciate those blessings and I love those blessings and I'm glad they're still here, even though I didn't utilize them and nothing happened to my blessings. So I need to take it up a notch and show some love to all of the things that I already have. And so that's what I want to talk to you about and tell you is there may be things in your life right now, like a house that you got maybe a year ago or two ago maybe a new car that you got and maybe you're not taking care or maybe even a new girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever anyway but maybe you're not taking care of those things the way you did in the beginning and if that's the case you need to find go back and relook at those things and find out where you might have went wrong and then just appreciate those things figure out how you're going to give those things some love because those particular things could be stopping your other blessings from pouring in. That's just the way I see it. So if you don't take care of what you're supposed to take care of in the beginning, that may stop you from moving forward. And at least in my case, for me, I think that's what stopped me from moving forward, even career-wise. I think I should be much further career-wise than I am. I mean, I'm glad I'm a sales manager and I'm managing a team and wonderful, but I'm 52 with four grown kids and nine grandkids. Okay, so I picture myself at this time being, I should have been a psychologist with my own practice and all of that stuff by now. So that's just my projection, but because that's where I want to go, that's what I'm going to continue to go for because, you know, some people just give up and be like, oh, I'm old. I'm not doing that. There's no, but the sky is the limit. You got to keep going. And so that 98 year old man who taught me how to knit hats taught me something you're never too old to keep going i didn't even know how old he was he could have easily passed for 60 a matter of fact to be perfectly honest with you he looked younger than his own son i couldn't believe it i didn't know who was the daddy when they both were standing side by side in my office mm -hmm. so that's what living out your dream, loving the things that you have, appreciating life, all of that, that's what that does. So, almost done. Let's talk next about vacations and all of the other stuff that we want to build into this vision board. So we already talked about all of these things. Let's round it off and let's add some vacation and some fun stuff in there too. So, keep watching. <music> Since we are talking about vacations, I had to go on and change it all around, create a different scenery up in here so that we can get into this fun excitement of going on vacation. So for the last six months, I have been traveling with my boyfriend to various places. Now, it started out as a trip to check on our parents. We first went, ended up in September was my birthday, my 52nd birthday, which was a milestone for me. So if you haven't watched those videos, go back and watch those. It was a milestone because my mom passed away at age 52. And so what I did to honor her is I was going to pour out her ashes, but... Uh, 
I ain't ready to part with her ashes yet. So I took some of her ashes and I bought this necklace and I put some of her ashes in this necklace. And when I turned 52, I put this necklace on because her life ended at 52 and my life is continuing. So I'm going to carry the torch. It's kind of like my mom passed the torch to me. And then at 52, I grab that torch and I'm going to take it on as far as I absolutely can, as far as the Lord will let me. So I'm praying every day. But anyway, I'm going to take that torch on and I am going to build myself. I'm going to change some things in myself for the better. I am going to go as far as I can in my career and pick up where I left off. And I am going to finish the things that she couldn't finish and i am going to just take things to a whole nother level so and i'm doing that for not just me but for my mom and for all of us women who couldn't continue um on at the age of 52 because you know 50 is when things start happening and it's scary health wise so but I ordered some outfits that are going to give me inspiration. So I ordered four outfits and I'm really excited about getting those. And I'm just going to change my look all together. Um, and I'm really, really excited about the new me. So with that being said, it's going to make vacation even be more wonderful. We went to Vegas for Christmas or right before Christmas for the holidays. But nonetheless... It was amazing. We actually lived in Vegas and it was great. And when I say lived, it means staying at a place that's not a, the best hotel, but close to all the attractions where you can go out every day, run to the corner store if you need to, that kind of stuff. We actually lived in Vegas. Like we were a part of there and we talked to a lot of people and it's great. You know what we learned? A lot of those people came out to Vegas wanting to gamble and make it rich and then they lost all their money and they ended up on the streets mm -hmm. that's really sad so anyway we talked to people when we were there just to learn a little bit more about them and their culture and there's some places that my boyfriend has been that i have never been like seattle washington i heard that was beautiful and just all these other places i want to go to nantucket uh, i want to go to martha's vineyard and all these other places but anyway hopefully we'll get to those but we are going to make it a point to go see places that we have never even seen, even in our own hometown. So for Valentine's Day, I'm planning something really special and we're gonna do a couple's massage because that's something I think a couple should always get. We're gonna go to Paisley Park and see Prince's Mansion. Never seen that, never thought about that. And we live in Minnesota. I was born and raised in Minnesota. So definitely gotta do that. So we're gonna do that Valentine's Day. We're gonna go out to eat. And we're just gonna enjoy ourselves. So I hope my sister and her husband can come with us. But that is the plan for Valentine's Day. Hopefully my boyfriend isn't watching this video because that's a surprise for him from me. So anyway, um, so that is something that I wanna do and just really just living life. You can do some wonderful things right in your own hometown. Like I've never rode a horse before. That's on my bucket list. I got to do that. I'm 52 years old. So I'm going to do that. And so that is my plan for like this fall. I had bought these cowboy boots. I bought a cowboy hat. So I'm going to put that stuff on and I am going to ride that horse. So just think about all of those things and what you need to do to take care of yourself and what you need to do to nourish and love the blessings that you have and how you can take what you have and share it with others. That doesn't mean giving them money or bailing them you know, out of a bad situation. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about giving them experiences, giving them your heart in the littlest ways because a lot of times little things mean a lot and they can go a long way. It could be something as simple as cooking dinner or cooking lunch or, lunch or bringing a lunch in a picnic basket to your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever or buying them some cologne or perfume that you know that they liked and mentioned a long time ago any little thing but think about that because life is so short and we only get one shot at doing it right and so i'm working on my shot i got some things i need to do to make me feel good about me it's gonna be a new me so i hope you continue to watch my videos and see how reviews and great lifestyle expands and turns into something that you can really enjoy. I'm getting better and better at video editing as well. 
But with that, I hope you enjoyed my videos. And if you like my channel and you're subscribed to my channel and your friend hasn't, why don't you send them this video and ask them to go ahead and subscribe. I promise you the videos that I have coming up in 2024 are going to be absolutely amazing. And they're videos that are not just going to show you something, but hopefully they'll teach you something as well. Thanks for watching. Yeah.